hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this balaclava uh it's highly textured you people know how much i love this stitch so when i saw uh different versions on different social media platforms i decided to come up with my own design so this is the design that you're going to do you can see it's the same exact piece as this this one is finished and uh, <coughs> the materials that you'll need are yarn and you can use any yarn of your choice uh, i'm going to use this is winter king it's a hundred percent acrylic and i used approximately one and a half balls one and a half to two balls so uh, each ball is 50 grams and then uh, you also need a pair of scissors and two hooks so one is four millimeter and the other one is five millimeter the five millimeter will work on the body of the piece and then the four millimeter is going to help us with the lining of the eye opening as well as the bottom ribbing of the piece so if you guys would like a written pattern it's already available on my etsy and ravelry as well as my website so you can find all those details in the description box if you would like to purchase the written pattern so let's begin you're going to start off with your five millimeter crochet hook and that's the one that's going to work the body of the piece so you're going to make a magic ring like that and you're going to chain one that is to lock the ring and now you're going to insert your hook into the magic ring pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook into the same magic ring and pull up a loop you will have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all and that creates our very first bin stitch so after this you're going to chain one insert your hook into the magic ring pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and you have four loops on your hook you'll yarn over and pull through all so those are two uh, bin stitches chain one one bin stitch into the same magic ring hope you still remember how to make the bin stitch so those are three chain one one bin stitch into the magic ring so those are four chain one one bin stitch so these are five chain one and one last bin stitch into the magic loop or the magic ring so so far we have a total of one two three four five and six bin stitches you're going to grab this tail of the magic ring and pull it and that's going to close up that magic ring and you're going to chain one last chain and go into the very first bin stitch there's that stitch that's there so you're going to go into it with one slip stitch into the very first bin stitch that we made so so far we have a total of six bin stitches separated by chain one spaces keep in mind that every time you make a bin stitch it should be followed by a chain one space so we're going to round two so for round two you're going to chain one and turn your work so uh, we're going to go into the very first bin stitch that we made which is this one you see that space there you're going to go into it with one bin stitch chain one and one more bin stitch so that's a total of two bin stitches in one bin stitch from the previous row then you're going to chain one go into the next bin stitch with one bin stitch chain one and one more bin stitch so we are doing increases then you're going to chain one one bin stitch into the next bin stitch chain one 
and one more bin stitch into the same stitch. So, so far we have a total of six bin stitches for round two. Chain one, one bin stitch into the next bin stitch, chain one, and one more bin stitch into the same bin stitch. Then you're going to chain one, one bin stitch, chain one, and one bin stitch into the same bin stitch. And then you're going to chain one and go into the very last bin stitch, which is this one, and do the same thing. So one bin stitch, chain one, and one bin stitch. So we have a total of 12 bin stitches. As you can see, we have two here, two here, two here, two, two, two. So we have a total of 12 bin stitches for this round. And to wind up the round, you're going to chain one and go into that very first stitch here, the first bin stitch, and place a slip stitch. So that's the end of round two. We are going to round three. You're going to chain one, turn your work, and go into the very first bin stitch of the round. So the first bin stitch of the round is here. So go into that space with one bin stitch, chain one, and one more bin stitch into the same stitch. So we've made an increase here. Then you're going to chain one, and the next bin stitch is only going to get one bin stitch. Then you're going to chain one. The next bin stitch gets an increase. So you place one bin stitch, chain one, and one more bin stitch to create an increase into this next uh, stitch. Then chain one, the next stitch is going to have only one bin stitch. Chain one, the next stitch gets two bin stitches separated by a chain one space. Then chain one, then into the next stitch, you're going to place only one bin stitch. Then you're going to chain one, the next stitch will get an increase, so one bin stitch, chain one, one bin stitch, chain one, the next stitch only gets one bin stitch. Then you're going to chain one, the next stitch gets an increase, chain one, the next stitch only gets one bin stitch, chain one, the next stitch gets an increase. Chain one, and then the last stitch, which is this one, you go in there with only one bin stitch. So this is accurate because we started our round with an increase and we end our round with only one bin stitch. Then you're going to chain one and go into the very first bin stitch that you made into that very small stitch and you're going to make a slip stitch. So that was our round three and you can see we formed a hexagon. So we are going to round four, chain one and turn your work and into the very first stitch you're going to go in there with an increase So by now you should be knowing that an increase is one bin stitch, chain one, one bin stitch. Then you're going to chain one, only one bin stitch into the next stitch, chain one, and one bin stitch into the next stitch. Like that. And then you're going to chain one and then make an increase into the next stitch. Then you're going to chain one and place only one bin stitch into each of the next two stitches separated by chain one spaces. So one bin stitch, chain one, and into the next stitch, you place one bin stitch. So chain one and into the next stitch, you're going to place one bin stitch, chain one, and one bin stitch, which is an increase. So you should notice that for this round, the increases are separated by two stitches. increase then two stitches then increase 
for the previous round we had increase then one stitch then increase one stitch increase one stitch so we're going to go all the way around after this increase we're going to go into the next bin stitch with a bin stitch chain one one bin stitch into the next stitch chain one and into the next bin stitch you're going to place an increase chain one then one bin stitch chain one one bin stitch chain one and then increase I hope you're seeing what I'm doing so after this uh, one bin stitch chain one one bin stitch chain one and then increase at the end of round four you should be having a total of two stitches left because we end our row with standalone bin stitches and for this case there are two stitches that lie in between the increases so you should be having a total of two stitches left so after a chain of one here after the increase you're going to place one bin stitch chain one and one last bin stitch into the last bin stitch and then you're going to chain one and slip stitch into the very first bin stitch of the round so this is what we have we're going to round five you're going to chain one turn your work make an increase into the very first stitch and then you're going to chain one one standalone bin stitch into each of the next three stitches this time this time it's three stitches not two stitches so the number of stitches in between the increases keeps increasing as you build your circle or hexagon so so far we have the increase and then one bin stitch then chain one one bin stitch into the next stitch chain one and one bin stitch into the next stitch so once you have your three stitches after the increase you're going to chain one and then increase again increase into the next stitch and then you're going to chain one one bin stitch chain one one bin stitch into the next stitch chain one and one bin stitch into the next stitch chain one and now it's time to increase because we have three stitches so one bin stitch chain one and one bin stitch into the same exact then um, you're going to chain one and then one bin stitch chain one one bin stitch into the next stitch chain one one bin stitch into the next stitch so so far we have a total of three stitches after the increase then now it's time to increase again one bin stitch chain one and one bin stitch then you're going to chain one one bin stitch chain one one bin stitch chain one and one bin stitch and then it's time to increase um, After you chain one, you're going to go into the next stitch. One bin stitch, chain one, and one bin stitch. So after you increase, you're going to chain one, and then one bin stitch, chain one, one bin stitch into the next bin stitch, chain one, one bin stitch into the next bin stitch, chain one, and now it's time to increase again. chain one and then you should have a total of three stitches left so you're going to go into them with only one bin stitch into each and every one of them separated by chain one spaces so after your last bin stitch here you're going to chain one and slip stitch into the very first bin stitch you made so we're going to round uh, six 
and you're going to chain one and turn your work then you're going to make an increase into the very first stitch which is one bin stitch chain one one bin stitch into the same stitch then you're going to chain one and then this time the increases are going to be separated by four stitches so one bin stitch chain one into the next stitch one bin stitch chain one into the next one bin stitch chain one and then one bin stitch chain one so so far we have the increase and then one two three four stitches and after this chain one it's time to increase again so after this you're going to chain one and repeat that all the way around so it's increase then one bin stitch into the next four stitches don't forget every after a bin stitch there should be a chain one space that's what you have to keep in mind so like here we have the increase here then one two three four and then that means the increase the next increase was here so continue that all the way around your work and I'll meet you back at this point Okay, so I've made it all the way around and make sure you end your round with uh, the standalone bin stitches, four of them. And then you're going to chain one and slip stitch into the very first one. So we are now on round seven and you're going to chain one, turn your work, start with an increase, so bin stitch chain one and one more bin stitch into the same exact bin stitch and then you're going to chain one and then one bin stitch into each of the next five stitches separated by chain one spaces so this is one chain one go into the next bin stitch with a bin stitch those are two chain one bin stitch into the next those are three chain one bin stitch into the next chain one bin stitch into the next so we have a total of after the increase we have one two three four and five and then you're going to chain one and then make another increase so this time the increases are separated by five bin stitches so go all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning of the round at this point. So you should end your round with five, one, two, three, four, five standalone uh, bin stitches. And then you're going to chain one and go into the very first stitch with a slip stitch. So you should have something that looks like this. So after round seven, we are going to start doing something different. We are going to stop increasing. So you're going to chain one and turn your work. 
and you're going to go into the very first bin stitch with one bin stitch chain one and for this round which is round eight we are just going to go into each and every bin stitch with one bin stitch without uh, increasing at all just keep in mind that you have to have a chain one space in between the bin stitches so it's the chain one that separates one bin stitch from the other so do that all the way around and I'll let you know how many bin stitches that I'll have for uh, my piece So I've made it all the way around and I have a total of 42 bin stitches all the way around my round 8. So after my chain 1, I'll make a slip stitch, chain 1 and turn. And we're going to repeat this round of no increases, no decreases, until we have a total of 10 rounds of plain bin stitches all the way around. So, so far we've done one round. We are going to continue working that same exact round until we have a total of 10 rounds. So that means since this was round 8, this is round 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'll meet you back at round 17 and I'll show you what to do from there. Just repeat this round of no increase, no decrease until you have a total of uh, 10 plain rounds of no increase, no decrease. And I'll be back to show you what to do next. So it took me a total of 10 plain rows of no increases, no decreases uh, to get to that spot where I want to create the opening for the eyes. And from the exact middle of my piece, uh, it measures about 6.5 to 7 inches. Remember this stitch is stretchy so you have to be careful while working with it so that we don't go past the eyes. So after this I'm going to chain one and turn my work and now this is the row that's going to uh, create the opening for the for the eyes. So you're going to chain one and turn your work. Make sure you're working in the opposite direction of the previous row. And you're going to make a total of, uh, let me see, 13, 14, 13 stitches. So we are going to do the same exact thing. Chain one bin stitch into the next bin stitch until we have a total of 13 bin stitches. So those are two chain one three chain one four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, and 13. So we have a total of 13 bin stitches from the beginning of our row. So after your 13 bin stitches, you're going to make a chain of 32. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. So this is going to be the opening for the eyes. And now you're going to skip over a total of 16 bin stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And into the 17th, you're going to place a bin stitch in there. Make sure your chain is not twisted. So make your bin stitch in there. So you can see what we've done right now. Uh, we've created the eye opening. This is the one at the back. This is the front. And we're going to continue to uh, walk around until the end of our row. So chain one. One bin stitch into the next bin stitch. So those are two. Make sure by the time you come to the end, you have a total of 13 bin stitches. So these are two so far. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you can see we are coming to the very last space and we have our 13th. So uh, we are doing 13 in order to balance what we did at the beginning of the round. So after our last stitch, you're going to chain one and slip stitch into the very first bin stitch. So this is what we have so far. So that means this is the front side of our work. This one with the opening. And this is the back side so we're going to the next round so chain one turn your work one bin stitch into each bin stitch separated by a chain one space so by now you know how to work the bin stitch Alright, so we are placing our last bin stitch into this very last bin stitch before the chain. Now, we're going to chain one. Skip one chain. There's a chain there. Hope you can see it. Uh, there's a chain here. So you go into the next chain with one bin stitch. Chain one. Skip one chain. One bin stitch into the next chain one skip the next chain one bin stitch into the next chain so repeat that across your chain make sure you always skip one chain and after your bin stitches make sure you always chain one So we are almost coming to the end of the chain 
and so far we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 and then you're going to go into this very last chain with one bin stitch so that brings us to a total of 16 bin stitches which we skipped here so we brought them back at the top so we are back to the original number which is 42 bin stitches so after a chain of one you're going to go into the very first bin stitch and go all the way around until the beginning of your round Alright, so we are placing our last bin stitch into the last space and chain one, slip stitch into the very first bin stitch. So this is what we have so far. This is where the eyes are going to be. Now we are going to continue working in rounds until we get the length of the balaclava that we need until the chin. So these are the eyes, we're going to keep working around until we get to the chin part and then I'll show you what to do when you come to your next section. So we are going to just repeat the non increase round. Hope you still remember what to do. Chain one and turn your work and place one bin stitch into each bin stitch all the way around. So make sure you always remember to chain one after every bin stitch. That's all you have to remember. So we are going to keep working back and forth, back and forth. And don't forget to always turn your work after each row or round. What you have to remember that you have uh, to work in the opposite direction of the previous row or round. So go ahead and do that. I'll let you know how many rounds that I did for mine in order to get to my chin area. So I've done a total of 10 rows, 10 rounds all the way around from the time I made this chain and now I'm at my chin level. So I'm going to start doing something different. I want my work to come in a bit because right now it's at its widest. So you're going to switch to your four millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to start working the ribbing that's going to rest on our neck. So you're going to make a chain of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You're going to determine how long you want your ribbing to be. So for me, I'm going to do a total of 16 chains. I don't want it so long and I also don't want it so short. So you're going to go into the second chain from the hook with a single crochet and single crochet all the way down the chain. So the reason why I'm doing this ribbing is to have um, a better fitting for the neck area but then also to have it stretchy so that it can accommodate the head circumference when we are wearing our piece so I'm going to have a total of 15 single crochets since uh, the 16th was a turning chain so this is the very last single crochet and this is how long it's going to be I believe this is enough if you want it longer go ahead and make maybe 20 to 25 chains so after this you're going to go sorry you're going to make sure that you're working in the opposite direction of the previous row so you're going to go into the bin stitch and make a slip stitch and then go into the chain one space and make a slip stitch 
and then turn your work and work single crochet back loop only in two all the 15 uh, single crochets or whatever number of single crochets that you had so I'm placing my last single crochet back loop only into the very last stitch and now you're going to chain one turn your work single crochet back loop only into each and every stitch so the number of stitches remains the same the only difference is we make the single crochet in the back loop only so that we create that ribbing effect. All right, so when you come to the end of your row of single crochets, I've placed my last single crochet here. I'll go into the next bin stitch, make a slip stitch, go into the chain one space, make a slip stitch, and then turn. And we are going to repeat this all the way around our balaclava until we come back to the beginning of the round. So when I place my work down like this, you're going to have something like this. It's going to move all the way around the base uh, of the balaclava and it's going to help us bring in this a bit so that it's not so wide like this one so after going all the way around your piece with the ribbing you're going to cut your yarn leaving a long tail and then you're going to chain one and cut it and pull through sorry then you're going to get your dining needle and this is going to help us join the ribbing of our piece so all I'm going to do is to go into back loop only of this side and into the first stitch on the other side like that and then I continue doing that all the way down. So you should be working this at the back side of your balaclava so that the seam line is not even seen anywhere at the front okay so we are almost joining up So I still have a hole here, I'm going to just go into this side and the other side just to join it up and then from here I'm going to push my hook onto the wrong side of my work and then make sure I weave in this tail on the wrong side of the work. Just go into several stitches weaving in this tail. And then after that you can cut this so after the ribbing at the base we're now going to start working single crochet rounds around the opening of our eyes 
so make a slip knot and attach your yarn into there's this space there's a row here that's in between the rounds so I'm going to go in this space here and I place I attach my yarn there then I'm going to single crochet into each chain one space and into each bin stitch so one single crochet into this row and then start single crocheting into each chain one space and into each bin stitch so this is a chain one space you go in there with a single crochet into the bin stitch into the chain one space into the bin stitch and into the chain one space so you're going to repeat this all the way around So these rows of single crochets are only worked on the right side of our work. We are no longer going to turn our work. Okay, so I've reached the opposite side. So I'm going to just place one single crochet into this row and then continue to place one single crochet into each bin stitch and each chain one space. So I've made it all the way around and I'm going to place a slip stitch into the very first single crochet that I did and I'm going to go around placing single crochets again all the way around for a total of two more rounds. So it's chain one single crochet into the same stitch and continue to single crochet into each and every single crochet all the way around. The other thing I wanted to point out was I had told you to make a total of three rounds all the way around the eye opening. I ended up doing only two rounds, though enough. But if you want a smaller space for yours, then you can go ahead and make the third round around the eye opening. So the next thing that you're going to do is to get rid of all the loose strands lying around. Make sure you get rid of all of them. and. And this is how our final uh, project has come out. I hope you had fun making this one. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like a written pattern, it's already available on both my Etsy and Ravelry as well as my website. You can check the link in the description box below and you get all the details about uh, the written pattern. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.